It's cold and sucky today. Perfect time to review this guy. All right, and today we are taking a look at the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Dovahkiin action figure by Funko, I do believe is the maker of this particular figure. Um, I When I first saw this guy at the comic book store, I actually thought it was a McFarlane figure because the packaging and the look of the figure is very McFarlane-esque, but upon closer inspection, it's not. And I saw the big old Funko branding across the back of the packaging, so... Yeah, it's by uh, by Funko. I only ever knew them from making the, you know, Funko Pop figures with the giant ass heads. So, yeah, it's pretty cool that they, uh, you know, they make regular figures too. But anyway, getting right into it. Let's take a closer look here at Dovahkiin. He's wearing the standard, I guess, vanilla um, armor for that they usually depict the Dragonborn in. This is, I believe, the studded armor. So he's got the studded armor the iron helmet, iron gauntlets, and the iron boots. Um, that's kind of like his his default look. And it's, you know, it actually looks really good. It's, oh, where's the lens? There we go. Bring it in close. Let me see if I can get it to focus on his face. Come on, focus. All right, sorry about that. I ran into some technical difficulties. Um, but we're back, and I'm still possibly trying to, there we go. I was trying to get the camera to focus on the figure, and, Things went horribly, horribly wrong. But anyway, so here we go. Here's a closer look at the figure and its sculpt. And it's a pretty good sculpt. You know, it's a very decent looking helmet sculpt. Um, can't really, you can see some of the rivets up here on the helmet, holding it together. Nice texturing there on the horns. Um, the paint detail, I just wanna talk about that real quick. Um, on the skin, it looks dirty. Like he's been out running around in the woods fighting dragons and bandits and all kinds of stuff so that's a nice little detail on the paint um nice sculpt here on the shoulder pad nice sculpt here in the middle of the chest um nice sculpting work here all around just very well sculpted um hair on his gauntlets um string is sculpted on there and this this is an independent piece that hangs off that's really really cool looking and there's the the studs and the armor that's really neat and the boots look really good too. Got more like that that stringy look holding everything together and more little bits just kind of hanging off. And then nothing on the bottom. Um, more in the inner thigh there you can see more dirt. Paint's pretty clean on this guy too. I can't complain. It looks really, really nice. Flipping around to the back side so you can see more of that stuff. Um, the sheath for his sword is its own independent piece but it's held down with more of those like rubbery straps. And, you know, there's a hole there so you can sheath the sword. So we'll go ahead and we'll talk about those real quick. He does come with two accessories. And uh, this guy doesn't want to stand. He doesn't like standing. Not a stander. First one is he's got this little dagger. Again, nicely sculpted. Quite like it. Looks really good. And then he comes with a full-size sword. More awesome sculpt work. Uh, I think this is the steel. I think this is, um, where'd he go? Here we go. I think these are steel weapons, if I remember correctly. And then his sword does just go whoop, right in there. So he does have weapon storage. Nowhere, you can't put this one anywhere though. He can't, I mean, you can, I guess you can do like that. You can very delicately pop it in there like that. So you can store everything, but there's no dedicated sheath for this guy that's a shame um turning to articulation he's got you know all the joints he just doesn't articulate very well um i think he's got a ball joint on his head so he can wee, do all that all that good stuff um his arms can go out about that far they can do the full there's the his shoulder joints kind of stiff but he can go all the way around his elbow joint is about the same, you know, move like that all the way around. The elbow joint of mine is unnecessarily loose, which is kind of a bummer. I want to see if there's a way to fix that. Um, he's got a waist joint, which is nice so he can swivel around on his waist. Um, his legs don't kick forward very far. They go back a little further 
and there's a bit of in and out movement. He's got a double jointed knee, which is really nice. And there is nothing at the boot cut, but his feet can move around, which is nice. So, you know, his articulation is kind of limited. I don't know if it's just the way the joints are cut combined with all the other stuff on him, like his legs are hindered because of the skirt. This arm is kind of hindered because of the pauldron up here. So it can't do as much as the other arm. Well, you know, it can do a fair amount. It does what it needs to do. So there's his articulation. And now his, he can hold his weapons. He can hold them quite nicely. Um, so you can see his hands are molded in a weapon holding fashion. So we'll take our dagger, we'll slide it in. And he does hold his weapons very securely. So even though the arm itself is not secure, that his weapons don't go anywhere. And it's actually kind of scary to put weapons in this guy's hands. So here's his, his other hand. Here's the sword. Now on the dagger, it's not too hard because it just slides right in there. But because the way this is molded with this bottom piece, you can't just slide it in. You have to work it into his hand. And the plastic on his hand is really stiff. It is frighteningly stiff. So like right now, I'm, I'm about to put this sword in his hand, and it's probably never going to leave his hand ever again. Just because, excuse me, you have to like fight to open it up, and then real quick, you have to like slide the sword. Ah, and if you, you miss it, and it goes back really quick too. And I'm also scared because I don't want to muscle it too much because I'm afraid of damaging the blade. I'm afraid I'd snap it. So ah, there you go. There you go. So now, yeah. So now that's because I had to like pry his hand apart to get the sword in there. It sits in there a little loose. As you can see, it's a little loose in there, but the plastic should reset and then it'll be okay. But, uh, and you see like this arm is kind of loose too. So he's got some issues with his joints. He, he's a little loose. And also, too, I don't know how, I don't know if it's the way the figure is just balanced, but he has a hard time standing. Like, right now I've got him, you know, he's, he's cool standing. But the second you try putting him into a pose and you have, like, his feet apart, he starts getting a little unstable. Oh, well, it's, he's doing okay now. Let me see if I can, because I want to get him like in a really cool fighting stance. There, yeah. Oh, okay. See, see. So like, if you get his feet too far apart, because they don't go, there's no rock to them. They just go up and down and around. You actually can't get him like a solid base to stand on. So if you have your, if you have his feet in any other position other than straight down where he can stand, he's gonna fall over. So that's that's a bit of a shame. But I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's a cool figure. I really like having a Skyrim figure, the, the Dragonborn, because I didn't really, there's not a lot of stuff for Bethesda games. You see his arms just flopping around as I'm trying to pose him. So to, to have to see this guy at the comic book store, I thought was pretty cool. And I was really excited to pick him up. I like the figure. It's enjoyable. If you're a fan of the Elder Scrolls, I would definitely recommend picking him up. Just be aware that he does have some issues um, and the price is kind of steep. I've, the comic book store I got him from was, he was 20 bucks. I've seen him at Toys R Us for 20 bucks. So yeah, I mean, he's kind of expensive more so than I think he should be. And in retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have paid $20 for him because I don't feel the quality is there at 20. If it was like $5 less than maybe, you know, that, that'd be better, but a little pricey, but enjoyable. I, I like having him with the rest of my video game figure collection. So, there you go. Alright, so that does it for this review of the Funko Dova King action figure from The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This is a pretty cool figure. A couple little problems with it, but no figure is perfect. And you know what? For considering that there's not a lot of Skyrim products out there, at least that I've seen, at this point I'll kind of take what I can get and it's, you know, pretty decent. So... Alright, well, um, if you like this video, 
Hop on down there, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you want to stay subscribed to all the geeky content that I'm creating. And yeah, until next time, let us.